you may be willing to give a hundred thousand dollar line of credit if somebody's willing to personally guarantee a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars so how often do you ask for a personal guarantee and are, are there exceptions mm -hmm. to that rule and then the bank world is a hundred percent so i would oh, i would dope. approach it it would be it would be a very strange exception for someone not to ask for a personal guarantee well, the thought process is is when you're going to any type of a lender and you're saying you know i want a hundred thousand dollars as your example is then really what the person behind it is saying is you know is i stand behind this idea as well so especially when you're talking about a smaller business um you know it's the business is the person the person is the business i mean it's very interchanged you know it's very hard to, to um to disassociate the two entities. So that's really what the lender is looking for, is look, looking for that person to say, you know, this is my business, this is my ID, I'm looking for $100,000, and I'm willing to personally guarantee it. So that just is another, another form of comfort for a lender. So it would be, um, I, I would use the term rare to not see a personal guarantee in a bank scenario. Okay, maybe Terry, if, is there something different with the SBA? No, no in fact, we require uh, personal guarantees. Okay. Occasionally we see um, a friend and family person step up and make the guarantee on behalf of the entrepreneur. You have to be really close with them, and, 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 uh, uh, but, but we've seen that. We've also seen on rare occasion angel investors who have deep passion for the deal be willing to step up and, uh, uh, and, and make that guarantee. Not often, but it has happened. So there, there are some ways.